Hello you guys. <laughs> welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Mary Margaret and today we're doing a very casual get ready with me. I am about to start getting ready for my friend Grace's birthday dinner. I'm so excited. We are getting together with all of the girls tonight and I haven't gotten like dressed up or done my makeup in a while so it'll be fun to just like get out of these lounge clothes because we have been having like the gloomiest weather for the last three or four days and I'm so over it. I'm ready for sunshine. I want to have a beach day. I have a lot I need to get done actually so I need good weather to come. So no more lounging around. It's time to get ready. I'm actually like kind of in a time crunch. Um, I think we're meeting for 6 and it's 4.30 right now so I'll need to leave in like an hour and I need to do my makeup. I actually think I want to curl my hair. I have not curled my hair since our wedding which was in April and before that I probably hadn't curled my hair since like our engagement party. I don't know. I just like never do my hair here since we live at the beach. I'm like constantly in the water and I just let it air dry naturally but last night I actually blow dried it so it's kind of different than like what it usually looks like I feel like especially like right up here so it should be a little bit easier to curl it from this instead of like my natural wavy curls I'm just gonna take you guys along and we can have like a little chatty get ready with me this is where I have been laying for the last like two hours just scrolling on TikTok watching YouTube videos, scrolling on Pinterest, and it's time to get going with the day. I wish our bathroom had better natural light, but it doesn't. This is what we're working with. So I think I'm gonna grab my makeup and we'll go sit in front of the window so that it looks a little bit better. But I think I do want to do my makeup first and then we'll do hair after. My hair falls pretty fast, so I like to do that one last. But let me know what y'all do. Comment down below if you do your hair first or your makeup first. Let's pull this hair up and out of the way. My little makeup bag is from Erin Made. It's the same brand of like my patterned beach bag that I always have with me. She has the cutest stuff and I feel like it's always sold out. So if you go and check and they have stuff in stock, definitely grab it while you can because her stuff goes really fast. Let's arrange her buddy <laughs> you guys this is what i deal with he's literally hovering over me i see you thanks thanks okay 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 that's enough that's enough <laughs> i have a mirror right up here so if i keep turning that is what i'm looking at i don't know the last time i posted like just like a sit down get ready with me i think it was like one of my first videos when I was starting my channel. This is a skin tint from YSL. I've only used it once and it is like a little bit dark for me and I haven't been in the sun much. So we're just really gonna have to blend it out. Good. I do think that it matches well with my body though. My face never tans the same as like my stomach and my legs and my arms. So my face is always like two shades lighter than the rest of my body. Noah is about to go out of town and he's actually going to Vail for a little work trip. He has to go shoot for a company up there and I'm so sad because I was invited to go with him but I have to stay back and watch Ranger because the day he gets back from his trip, the very next morning we are leaving for our honey trip that I mentioned I think in my last video but I still haven't shared where we're going. I think I'm gonna leave it as a surprise until we're there which like I feel like I never do. I just get so excited. I want to tell you guys about it and like get recommendations but I'm sure I'll post a story like question box the day that we get there and ask for recommendations if any of you guys have been there I watched like a ton of vlogs so I do have some like food recommendations I found a yoga studio that I'm sure me and Brinley will go to at least like one or two times um, so I do have some stuff but obviously I like getting recommendations from like other people not just stuff online I just love having stuff to look forward to I know that sounds dumb but like having trips scheduled and stuff just like makes me so excited and it's fun I feel like for you guys because it gives something new to my channel than just like my daily routine what you guys are used to seeing like I love creating week in my life and day in my life but I feel like they just get super repetitive and like 
I don't know. I feel like my life is pretty predictable. If you've been watching me for a while, it's like, okay, we're going to the beach. We're probably gonna do sunrise or sunset. We'll go to like a cute coffee shop or cafe, meet up with friends, maybe go to the gym. <laughs> and I don't know, I know it's fun. Like I enjoy it, but I feel like for viewers to watch, it could get boring. But let me know if you guys still like watching them. Like obviously I'll still create new ones, but I just try and like incorporate different things to them because I don't want to get too boring. That's why I love having like travel plans set up because it does add something new to my channel because I can create like a packing and prep video and then I can do a video and sort there. Which speaking of, I need to go and get my nails done soon um, for that trip, but I like to get them like as close to it as possible just so that they look the best. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do short nails. I feel like short nails are trending and I spent so much time growing out my natural nails to be able to achieve a good almond shape and I do love the length of them oh my gosh I was just about to <laughs> I was about to use this end of the brush I do like the length of them but I don't know I kind of just want to switch it up switch it to short nails for a little bit and especially since where we're going is like I don't want to say rural, but like, I don't know. It's definitely not like resort vibes. It's more of just like a little chill surfer town. And I feel like these are giving like glam. So who knows? Maybe we'll test out the short nails for a little bit and give it a try. I'll post when I get them done on my stories so you guys can see what I end up doing. I usually always have like an idea of a design or whatever I want to get done like days in advance. But for some reason, like the last time I got my nails done and this time, I am just like so stuck on what I want to do. Nothing seems to be like calling my name when I'm scrolling on Pinterest and I'm just getting kind of like tired of seeing the same stuff. I'm not feeling very inspired with my nails right now, so maybe we'll keep it simple. I'm really hoping it doesn't rain on us because where we're going tonight is mostly an outdoor restaurant. They do have indoor seating too, but like you go to this restaurant to sit outside. Like that's where the experience is. There's string lights. They usually have live music all the time. And I don't know, I hope we get to sit outside and not get drenched. Let me know if it is already starting to feel like fall where you guys live. Here in Florida, it's still like in the 90s every day. The humidity is awful. And I feel like we don't really experience cooler weather until like end of October, beginning of November. And even then we still have really hot sunny days. It doesn't really get like cold here until like winter, like December, January. Um, and even then obviously it's not a true winter compared to what you guys experience in the North. But I do think it gets pretty cold here. Some days it'll get down to like the 30s or 40s on our coldest days. And like, I am so not a cold weather person. I thrive in the summer. So I don't know, it's very bittersweet that summer is ending because summer obviously is my favorite season but it is so hot here that sometimes I'm like, all right, I'm ready for a cold front. Let's get some fall weather going so that I can wear a sweater and like be cozy. I miss having bonfires and just like doing all the fall activities, like going to a pumpkin patch and like getting hot cocoa and all that stuff. So I am excited for that, but I do know once we do have those really cold days, I'm gonna be like, all right, I need the heat again. It's like, it's just a constant cycle of like, when you have one, you want the other. No, it's getting home right now. I'm also using another new YSL product. It is their Lip and Cheek Balmy Tint. They sent a few colors, but I feel like this one looks the best. It's also like kind of hard to get out of the tube, but it is very pigmented, so we'll see. I've only used this one other time, but I do like the color. I really want to go on like a fall or winter trip and like really experience fall leaves or even like in the winter experience somewhere where it snows and go like skiing i've never been skiing or snowboarding so if you guys have any of like your favorite places to do that please leave them down in the comments because me and my friends have been talking about it for a few weeks now and we're really just trying to decide on like where we want to go and what time of the year um, none of us are like pros at snowboarding or skiing. I think only a few of us have only done it like once. So I feel like a beginner area would be best. 
um, and like somewhere that's not gonna be super busy. So yeah, please leave a comment if you have any recommendations on where we should go for that because we'll probably have to plan that soon because it's just gonna get more busy as time goes on. Also, I just got back from visiting my sister and her newborn and I feel like I'm still in baby heaven. Like it was so fun being there and getting to spend time with them at this like super important time in their lives. I'm just very thankful that I am able to go and travel and visit family with the job that I have. Um, I know not everyone can just like get up and go that easily. So I'm very, very grateful for what I do and the time flexibility that comes with it. I would babysit all the time in high school and like nanny and babysitting like the really young ages like one to two year olds was always my favorite because they're so cute and i just have the worst baby fever especially now like so many of my friends are pregnant my sister now has a baby and i just have baby fever no it does not so <laughs> we still have some time before that time comes for us but i'm very excited for when it does Right now I am using the highlighter from Fenty Beauty. They sent me this, I think in like 2020. I know that's probably not good to still be using it, but it's my favorite. It's very subtle and I love that it's like a liquid base. So it just like melts right into your skin. And then this is my favorite powder. It's just the Anastasia Beverly Hills loose setting powder in translucent. My skin is looking very glowy right now. I think it's from that tint I used at the beginning because my skin usually doesn't look like this. I don't know why, but I have been in the biggest shopping mood recently. Before I started doing influencing, I would save all of my money and like once or twice a month, I would do like a big shopping spree online and like scour the internet and like find good deals and just like really figure out what I wanted to buy. That was like how I treated myself. And now that I do influencing and it is my full-time job, I receive a lot of PR, which I'm so grateful for. But because of that, I really don't do that much shopping anymore. It's a very rare occurrence that I like go and buy things myself. So when I do, it just always brings me back to like that time in my life when like that was what I would save all of my money up for. And I just love shopping. I love looking on the internet. I love following trends. I love looking at different brands and websites and then like tracking your order, getting it in, getting to try everything on the whole process. I honestly do think I have a shopping addiction and if I didn't do what I did, it would be really bad. Like I said, I've been on a shopping kick. So I did go and order stuff from Zara. It all came in and one of the sets that I was like really excited about ended up not working out. It just like fit kind of funky. And I have, feel like I should have known because Zara I feel like can be a hit or a miss. And thankfully two of the things were hit, these pants and then linen shorts that I ordered for my trip. They both that worked out perfectly. Someone calling me, hold on. Hello. Hey. Hey, just got off the phone with my mom, so my makeup got a little bit sped up. I added blush, did my brows, lip lined, and curled my lashes. And I'm about to go in with mascara. This is my first time trying this. It is from YSL. I feel like all of my makeup is slowly turning into YSL products because they do a lot of gifting which I love. I love testing out new stuff and honestly everything that I've tried from them, I love. Um, so let's see how this mascara does. My old mascara wand is like very skinny and slim. So this is like total opposite and it's like feels really weird using this one. It's definitely harder to get like super close tight into the corner of your eye since it is a bigger wand but I do like the way it looks. All right, that is both eyes with mascara done. I feel like I'm so, so close to the camera, but let's throw on some setting spray. All right, I need some little like chapstick lip gloss to top it off. I feel like this shouldn't be a surprise, but this is also from YSL. It is their candy glaze. The product looks like it would be a lipstick. It feels like chapstick, but on your lips, it looks like lip gloss. And Ranger is trying to eat it. There you have it. All right, makeup is done. We have moved into our guest bathroom. I don't think I've ever filmed in here, but again, there's no natural light in here, which drives me crazy. But I just plugged in my curler. I just use like a wand by Remington. 
I've had this since high school. It's probably from like Walmart. And then I'm gonna go in with some heat protectant. This is by the brand Chi. Again, I've also had this for years. So I probably need to like upgrade all of my products. I just like rarely do my hair, like I said. So it's not something that I do on the regular. And then I go in with my wet brush. We're gonna brush through any knots. I feel like I always think I'm starting early and then I don't know where the time goes and I always end up being like frantically trying to finish getting ready in time. I don't even know what the heck I'm wearing. Like I said, it's like rainy and muggy outside. So if we do sit outside, then like I don't want to sweat. But then if we sit inside, I don't want to be cold. Hopefully this goes fast because we need to leave here in 20 minutes. I never know how long to hold my hair. I usually do like 20 to 30 seconds. I don't know if that's bad, but it's usually what I do. And then I like slowly let it fall. And then it looks super like crunchy right now, but trust me, it'll fall by the end. All right, this side is done. See how they're like kind of already starting to fall and they're just gonna get more loose as time goes on. You know when you do your hair and then you see the back of it and you're like, that's how my hair always turns out. I feel like, because I just focus on what the front looks like and then I never think to check the back of it, but it's okay. Oh my gosh, I haven't curled my hair in so long. It feels so weird. Here's the back. Y'all let me know if I need to fix it. Hopefully not because it's not getting fixed. All right, we have 10 minutes till we need to leave. Brenda's gonna ride with us, so she's meeting us here, and I need to figure out an outfit, put all my jewelry on, and then we'll be good to get. I'm thinking of choosing between these two dresses. They're both from Beginning Boutique. This is the first one. It's like an orange floral pattern. Super cute, it has a fun open back. And this is a short dress, and I know Brenda's wearing a romper, and Haley's wearing like a mini sundress. So I feel like this one definitely fits the vibes of what everyone else is wearing. I don't know what McKenna or Grace is wearing, but that's the first one. Or there's this one, which is definitely like a little bit more dressy, but we are going to a nice restaurant and I don't know when else I'm going to wear this. Oops. So look how cute. I love the lace details. And this one's also floral, but it's like more pinks and purples. What do we think? kind of want to wear this one. I'm going to try this one on, see what shoes I could do and like purse and we'll go from there. Here is the long dress option on. So cute. I feel very fancy since my hair is curled. I'm just not used to seeing it like this, but this is the first one, or I guess this was technically the second option, but this is the one that like I am leaning the most towards. So cute. I just love it. So girly. This one kind of has an open back. It's like a lower open back moment. I feel like this one would be cute for pictures. So I definitely need to put on some stickies for either one. Threw on a bag and some shoes. The materials kind of match. These are from Steve Madden. I've had these for a while. I think since last summer, but they're just super cute and like a good summer shoe. And they match the material of my bag. I just threw on my YSL that I got in Paris. And this would probably be the finished look for this one. I feel like I'm gonna do same purse and shoes for either one, but let's go ahead and try another one just in case. This is option number two. Super cute. I love the colors on this one, and this one actually has like a true open back, which I love, but I don't know. For some reason, I feel like this one doesn't look as good. I don't know, maybe I'm just weird, but I feel like I'm for sure gonna do the first, but let me know which one you guys would do. Really just texted me that she's here, so we are rushing out the door. Deodorant is on. The jewelry. I'm just gonna throw on what I have right here. This one always gets caught in my hair, so maybe we'll leave that one off. Do these. I like using these little mini hoops from ALV in my seconds, and then I do big hoops in my first. I'm like out of breath right now. Okay, these are also from ALV. My necklace, my bracelet, and this ring are from Alco. And I have discount codes for both ALV and Alco, so I'll have those on the screen here. I think that's good for jewelry. We went pretty minimal today. Here's what the earrings looked like. And 
I think this is gonna be the final fit. Let's see, what do I wanna do for perfume? I'm a big perfume girl, and my two like ride or die favorites are these, the Michael Kors Gold and then Daisy by Marc Jacobs, but they're both running low, so I kind of wanna save those. I think I'm gonna use this one, Shocker YSL, but it smells really good. And it's more of like a nighttime scent, whereas I feel like the daisy one is very like girly and like daytime. And then the gold is kind of like a mature scent and it stays on your clothes for like days. Like even after you wash them, it still smells like it. It smells so good. So if you need perfume recommendations. <laughs> Do y'all see how much looser my curls are now and we haven't even left the house yet? I swear they fall so fast. So I know the second I walk outside, they're probably gonna be gone. So this is probably the last you'll see of them. This is pre-filmed me, but I wanted to just film an outro because I know I'm gonna forget when I get home tonight. So thank you so much for watching. I know this video was a little bit different than my typical ones. It was very chaotic, but kind of a good thing because I was just saying how my videos were feeling repetitive and boring. So this is very different than all my other typical day in the life vlogs. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in my next video.